Alfie. I'm from Egypt. I, uh, I was born in Cairo and I still train in Cairo. I'm 15 years old and I live in uh, Sheikh Zayed city. Uh, I started playing squash when I was about five years old. I took uh, two lessons per week. And I was just playing for fun until uh, I was like about seven or eight and I started competing in uh, the national tournaments back in Egypt. So I started taking more lessons and actually focusing on squash and only squash, not any other sport. And uh, yeah, that's how I, I began. Does anyone else play squash in your family? Uh, my sister, my little sister, she's uh, 10 years old now and she is number two in Egypt under 11. Uh, I didn't really choose it in the beginning. I was just like trying a couple of sports. So I tried gymnastics, swimming, uh, tennis, and then uh, squash was the last sport. My mom said, let's just try it. And I started hitting the ball and I was hitting it pretty well for someone who has never like held a racket and played. And the coaches said, uh, why don't you give her a few lessons per week and we'll see where she goes from there. The World Junior uh, Championship is my biggest title until now. It was very special for me and I'm really happy to have won it and become like, the second youngest ever. <laughs> so this is my first uh, professional tournament like on tour, not on the Challenger Tour. Uh, it's quite different, the atmosphere is different, uh, the level of play is different, so I feel I have to live up to that level and uh, try to, because like the rest of the players, they're obviously more experienced than me, so for me to be able to play with them and compete against them, I have to be uh, more mature, I guess, and uh, play confidently and try to equalize with them in terms of uh, uh, playing and experience. So uh, that's the main difference, I feel. And obviously, it's more serious than uh, the challengers or uh, the junior tournaments as well. Uh, the refs and uh, the atmosphere itself, it feels more professional. And how do you build that confidence to play with these guys? What do you do? I try to not pressure myself and tell myself uh, uh, we're here, just play your game, pretend it's like a training match, we win, okay, we lose, it's fine, there's nothing to win or lose, we're not a seeded player like uh, they are. And uh, I just try to tell myself I'm good, I deserve to be like competing here because of my accomplishments and I feel that's what gives me the push every day. Uh, so I go to school in Egypt, the uh, American International School. I go there every day uh, and then after that I, uh, I train from two to three hours per day uh, and one day off per week and so I try to balance uh, when I'm like traveling I try to do my work beforehand or uh, do it afterwards when I come back. Uh, I try to keep up with the work sometimes it's a lot so sometimes they exempt me from a few things but uh, I go to school and uh, school is just as important to me as squash. Uh, most of the time I travel with my uh, parents, like either one, my mom or my dad. And because uh, I'm still 15 years old, so some countries I can't go uh, by myself. But uh, later on when I uh, grow up, uh, <laughs> I'll be traveling on my own. Um, and tell me a little bit what, I mean, it's, it's obviously super exciting that you are now competing on the tour. You're going to compete in the World Championships in Chicago. Yeah. What, are, what are your thoughts about that? Um, so when I got the email, it was after my uh, uh, challenger tournament in India in Feb, early Feb, and uh, I couldn't believe myself. I was just like opening it and I thought it was just like the weekly news or something. And then I'm, they said that they were like, I'm selected to play. So I was like so excited and I called uh, my family and I called my coaches and I told them the news because I was planning on playing the qualifying event but uh, thankfully I don't have to play that and I'm going to be training <laughs> a lot and try my best uh, to, to hopefully do something good in the world. Obviously in Egypt there's so many great players and great women players which is really exciting. Um, who were your inspirations or who are your inspirations in the game? Uh, there are quite a few. I feel my all-time inspiration is uh, Nicole David. She's a legend and she's, uh, she's really confident on court and really calm uh, while she's playing and she's eight-time world champion. Uh, from Egypt, my biggest inspiration is Noel Shirbini because uh, she started at such a young age achieving so many things. And uh, 
I feel uh, I'm following a bit of her footsteps in achieving when I'm uh, at a young age. So yeah, these are my two biggest inspirations. And what are your goals joining the tour? Like, what are your expectations? What would you like to do? Uh, so for, for the end of 2023, I wanted to break into the, the top 40, uh, hopefully by then. But uh, if I can go and become better than that, then obviously it's going to be a win-win situation for me. Uh, for the long term, I want to become the youngest uh, world number one and hopefully win as many world championships as I can. I, uh, I enjoy training, I enjoy uh, competing, I enjoy uh, traveling, seeing new places, so it's all like a fun experience for me. How would you describe your game? How do you describe how you play? Uh, I think I'm a bit of a solid player and uh, I'm focused. I think my game is uh, fast for my age. Um, I like to volley a lot and uh, attack when I feel confident. So, yeah, that's how I describe my game. When we see you play, it's it's uh, very exciting because obviously you're, it's not only your age, but your maturity. And um, for us on tour, it's really exciting to see you. Are there any of the players that you see on tour that you want to like beat fast or you want to uh, targets in there? I think obviously I want to to move up the rankings and like uh, do a few big wins like beat players inside the top 20, top 10 but uh, that won't happen until I'm I'm good enough to be able to beat them and until I'm, I'll be able to like participate in the bigger tournaments the majority of the time because uh, this is like I, I came into here as a wild card, so it's I don't get a wild card in every uh, platinum tournament or, or a gold event. So hopefully, when I become inside the top 50 and 40, and I can participate in these events, then it's going to be more frequent, and I don't have to wait a long time until I uh, play with them. Tell me just a little bit about what is it? Are there many juniors in Egypt? What's it like, like the junior scene in Egypt? What is it? Uh, it's really competitive. I've noticed it's a lot more competitive than uh, other areas of the world. We are a lot. Like uh, I remember at some point in the nationals, we were about a uh, thousand eight hundred or something competing <laughs> all together like all the events, so that was uh, a lot. It's often really crowded when in the first few days of the tournament. So uh, I feel that there's a lot of uh, people uh, that want to become uh, uh, professional players and they enjoy the game. So that's why I feel we have so much uh, upcoming players and like players now because uh, how big the squash population is in Egypt.